In the following experimental setup, we will analyze the role of amino acids as buffers, opposing the tendency of certain chemicals to dramatically change the pH. Take care when handling the reagents, as nitric acid is oxidizing and corrosive, while alkaline bases are caustic. A comparison will be made concerning the pH variation when a strong acid or a strong base is added to water and when these reagents are added to an amino acid solution. One molar solutions are needed from the following reagents. Sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, hydrochloric acid and nitric acid. Follow the general guidelines to prepare one molar solutions of them. Four different amino acid solutions will be used as buffers. From each amino acid, 500 ml 0.1 molar solutions were prepared. The experimental setup is simple. It requires a magnetic stirrer and a pH meter. The pH jump value is compared with a theoretical jump when there is no buffer in water. Measure also the pH drop when adding 1 ml of acid to 100 ml of water. The pH raise when adding 1 ml of a strong base is 5.56 units. Start with glycine. Record the pH variation when adding successively 1 ml of strong acid. Place the beaker with 100 ml of amino acid solution. Read the pH and add the acid or base to see the variation of the pH.
do the same operations with another glycine sample and one molar potassium hydroxide. Repeat the entire procedure with alanine. Repeat the entire procedure with alanine. Observe that proline is behaving almost the same as alanine and glycine. Aspartic acid is already acidic. Adding a strong acid to it, we notice a very slight pH drop. Also, aspartic acid shows a great capacity to oppose the pH raise caused by bases. The amino acids are one of the three buffering mechanisms present in the blood. Along with carbonic acid and phosphate, they help keeping the blood pH around 7.4. You can discard all the solutions to the drain as they don't harm the environment.